10 Best Picks Presents the Top 10 Best Laptops for Video Editing Starting at Number 10. Acer Aspire 5. One of the most popular laptops out there is the Acer Aspire 5 Slim for its price and all-around consistency and performance across a variety of light activities. While this is a business-oriented laptop, its features are good enough for light video editing in programs that aren't overly heavy on CPU. Storage is also very limited on this laptop, with only a 128GB SSD for your files. This is absolutely not enough for video files, but the storage is also expandable and has a capacity of up to 2TB if you need an SSD of that size. SSDs included in laptops can be pricey when they've got a large storage capacity, so it's a wiser decision to buy your storage drives separately as well. The GPU of the Aspire 5 Slim is an integrated AMD Radeon Vega 3 Mobile Graphics Unit, which is an entry-level GPU that performs similarly to the NVIDIA GTX 1050 graphics card, but does not pass it in performance. As with the processor, this again confirms that the Aspire 5 Slim is better for light video editing as opposed to heavily editing 4K video files. The Aspire's 15. 6-inch FHD IPS display is only slightly muted compared to many of the other laptops at this price point, so if you don't have the money to spend on a separate display, you can get away with using the laptop's display. Color accuracy is around 63%, which is pretty close to the average level for low-budget laptops. Purchasing an additional display will solve this slight accuracy issue if it's something that is high on your priority list. In general, the Acer Aspire 5 Slim is a very portable decent laptop for light video editing regardless of skill level. An adequate battery life of 7. 5 hours, a satisfactory level of processing power at this price point, customizable RAM and storage, and good value for the price make it an option you and your wallet will appreciate. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. At Number 9. Asus VivoBook F510 Ka. The 2019 flagship model of the Asus VivoBook 15 is a surprising choice for video editing on a lower budget. While this laptop sacrifices some features for a lower price tag, it makes up for that with storage capabilities and still provides a good amount of performance compared to other laptops in this price range. For light to medium video editing, you'll find that this model will sufficiently meet your performance requirements. Featured as the CPU of the Asus VivoBook 15 is an AMD Quad-Core A12-9720P processor, which is comparable in performance to Intel's Core i3 CPUs. While this is a much less powerful processor than more expensive laptop models, it is sufficient enough to run any video editing software efficiently. For light to medium video editing, the VivoBook 15 may experience a very small amount of lag, especially if you are using multiple editing programs at the same time. There's nothing wrong with HDDs, there is just a difference in speed, and for or some, this doesn't make that much of a difference, but if you are working with large video files, you'll likely prefer an SSD, because they read and write files much faster. The weakest point of this laptop is its display, so you'll want to purchase an additional display with better specifications to meet your needs. The VivoBook's display is a 15.6-inch FHD IPS anti-glare display, which is helpful in environments with a lot of light, but on the other hand, the display's color is not that accurate, which can cause problems during color correction sessions and translate to poor-looking videos. A solid beginner video editor's computer, the Asus VivoBook 15 makes lighter video editing easy without compromising too much in terms of power and other important specifications, while remaining within quite an affordable price range. While its battery life is only around 6 hours, the VivoBook 15 proves to be a decent laptop that video editors will find to be surprisingly satisfying. Number 8 of my list. Asus VivoBook 15. The Asus VivoBook 15 is another pretty affordable laptop that is powerful enough for video editing if you stay under 4K in terms of video resolution. For light to medium editing, the VivoBook 15 is sure to surprise you with its performance despite its lower specifications. 
To start things off, it features an Intel Quad Core i5 to 1035G1 processor, which is a decently performing CPU for a laptop at this price range. It doesn't beat the Ryzen 5 4500U that comes with the Acer Swift 3 in general performance, but it has more than enough juice to power through large editing projects. GPU-wise, the VivoBook 15 features an Intel UHD Graphics G1 processor, which doesn't have that much power, making this the reason for the VivoBook being limited with graphics-heavy applications. 4K video easily overloads the GPU, causing a lot of lag and ultimately slowing down your workflow, which is why we don't recommend trying to edit 4K video on this laptop. Getting down to the display, the VivoBook 15 features a 15. 6-fold display and this is where things get a bit tricky. It utilizes a Tennessee panel, which is an outdated technology if you're not familiar with different display panels, feel free to check out our guide covering different panel technologies. But for now, all you need to know that if offers the worst viewing experience with poor viewing angles and only covers 55% of sRGB. If you're someone who relies on accurate colors and quality display, we advise you to take a look at our recommendations in the sub $800 category. All in all, the Asus VivoBook 15 represents great value despite being a low-budget laptop. It will provide you enough performance for daily video editing, plenty of connectivity and a nice, sleek design. If the display isn't a deal-breaker for you, you will love what this laptop can do for you. Coming at number 7. Acer Swift 3. Acer is a brand that has a good spread of both business and professional laptops, as well as gaming laptops, and at this price point, the Acer Swift 3 is a pretty reliable laptop that you can use for light to medium video editing without suffering from too much lag. If you are looking for a laptop that is portable and fast while remaining pretty cheap, this one is worth checking out. The Swift 3's processor is a higher-end AMD Ryzen 5 4500U Hexa core processor that can boost up to 4.0 GHz from 2.3 GHz. The 4500U processor has really good quad and Hexa core performance, making it ideal for multitasking and rendering large projects. The SSD featured here is very fast and will add to your workflow speed because you won't have to wait as long for files to open or save. Luckily, the SSD is also upgradable in the Swift 3, but there is only one slot. The integrated AMD Radeon graphics processor can handle running a decent amount of frames per second, surpassing average benchmarks, but with 4K video, this is where you'll start running into problems because the GPU can't handle the higher resolution. Unfortunately it is not possible to upgrade the GPU here, which is why this laptop is better for lighter video editing work. Lastly, the Swift 3 sports a 14-inch FHD display, but it is not especially bright, and the color accuracy is not that high, so while the other components of this laptop can handle video editing fine, you'll definitely want to get an additional display with this laptop if you want accurate colors. Overall, for a laptop at this price point, the Acer Swift 3 makes for a competitive option between its incredibly fast processor, 11-hour battery life, and expandable RAM and storage. For light video editing, this laptop is one of the best models you can choose from. At number 6, Lenovo Itapad S540. Lenovo has been a staple with the majority of their laptops, released over the years being gaming, business, and professional laptops, but within the past few years they have come out with quite a few laptop models that are perfect for creatives, from graphic design to video editing and more. The storage of this laptop is quite generous considering the S540's pretty affordable price. The 512GB SSD of the Itapad S540 will give you enough space to store video files and other assets on your computer without the need for an external drive. For those who create smaller sized video projects and files, this may be suitable for you, but if you often create large project files, you will benefit from an external drive. If you find that you do need more storage space, there are two USB-C ports and a USB-A port for connecting an external storage drive. When it comes to video editing, the display this Itapad boasts is fantastic for a laptop at this price point. The bright glossy 
3-inch QHD WVA display allows for a higher refresh rate and has a decent color accuracy level of 80%, which is slightly above the average level of color accuracy for budget laptops. Lastly, the battery life of Itapad S540 laptop is stated as lasting up to 18 hours, but users have reported the battery lasting for only 6 hours and having to keep the laptop plugged into the charger while running CPU-heavy programs. Again, the lack of a discrete graphics card makes this laptop not suitable for gaming and other content creation activities, but if you're going to use it solely for video editing and office work, it is a great choice. And even more so, if you look at the price tag. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. HP EliteBook X360. The HP EliteBook X360 1030G2 is another great budget workhorse laptop that is ideal for those who want to combine efficiency with performance power. Its specifications provide more than ample power, storage, and display quality for the beginner video editor to the experienced professional. For storage in the HP EliteBook X360 1030G2, you get a 512GB SSD. The reading and writing speeds of SSDs are much faster than that of HDDs, and because of this, accessing video files on an SSD is effortless and doesn't slow down your workflow. A 13. 3-inch FHD IPS display is one of the most notable features of the HP EliteBook X360 as it is quite accurate in terms of color, coming in at around 88%. The screen brightness is about average, so this laptop won't do that well outside in the sun, unless you're in the shade. On the bright side, it has a touchscreen display with stylus compatibility, so if you prefer a very quick productive workflow and like to use your hands when editing videos, this display will help speed up your workflow. In addition to all this, the battery life you'll get out of the HP EliteBook X360 1030G2 is an average of 12 hours, but as is standard with video editing on laptops, for best results you will likely want to keep the laptop plugged into an outlet so that the battery life doesn't have an effect on performance as it decreases. Overall, the HP EliteBook X360 1030G2 is another great choice that will meet your video editing needs. The only real downside is the lack of a discrete graphics card, which will restrict you from certain activities. But, with an i7 processor, 16GB of RAM, 512GB of storage and a great display, it is an absolute gem in the sub $800 category. Coming in at number 4 of my list, Dell Gaming G3. The number one's choice when it comes to powerful laptops under $800 is easily the Dell G3 153500 laptop that packs more punch than any other laptop in this price range. It ticks almost all the boxes, making it a superb choice for you if you're looking for a laptop for video editing and gaming that will last for years to come. The processor in the Dell G3 is a 10th generation Intel Core i5 to 10300H, which beats the AMD Ryzen 5 3500U processor in performance and speed. This processor is very fast, allowing you to perform editing tasks like adding transitions, importing new clips, and rendering video files at lightning speeds without interruptions. Besides that, it only reaches around 63% of the sRGB color gamut and 45% of NTSC, and this is where you need to reconsider if spending an extra couple hundred dollars on of the laptops from the sub-1000 category isn't worth it for you. That being said, the display isn't terrible, but for artists who need accurate color reproduction, it is simply not good enough. So while this trade-off might not bother some, video editors rely on accurate displays, so if you end up finding that this computer is the one for you, you may want to purchase an additional display in order to get a more accurate representation of color. On the upside, the gaming G3's screen is anti-glare, so you won't have to worry about serious sun reflection in bright environments. Battery life of the G3 15 lasts slightly longer than the average gaming computer, coming in at around 6. 5 hours while running graphics heavy programs and the CPU working hard. This may be enough for you if you don't work on long projects or work for long periods at a time, but otherwise, you'll need to keep a charger handy. Overall, the Dell Gaming G3 15 laptop is an excellent choice for a video editing laptop on a budget, without sacrificing very many features. 
For HD video editing of small to mid-size projects, the G3 is an ideal choice, thanks to its power and performance. There are some drawbacks, as we mentioned earlier, but you will be hard-pressed to find a better laptop for video editing and gaming for under $800. At number 3. MSI GL62M. Another laptop that provides a combination of value and decent performance for video editors within a reasonable budget is the MSI GL62M. The GL62M is a portable gaming laptop that does well with handling high-quality graphics and is more than suitable for video editing wherever you go. With a slightly more modest set of hardware and graphics designed with color accuracy in mind, the GL62M provides a lot of value for beginner to intermediate video editors looking for a suitable laptop upgrade. An Intel Core i5-7300HQ processor provides the majority of the performance you get from the GL62M and is comparable in speed and performance consistency as its i7HQ sibling. Its single-core performance is also good, but regardless, you will be able to get very fast speeds when rendering videos and utilizing 3D graphics despite the processor being a few years old already. Details in video that may not have been apparent on other models of laptops will stand out with this model thanks to its display. It is a 15.6-inch FHD at vivid color display that covers 94% of the NTSC and 100% of the sRGB gamut, making it ideal for video and photo editing because of the high color display accuracy. The baseline storage and RAM specifications of the GL62M may leave you desiring more space and memory. A 256 GB SSD stores your files and allows you to write and read them quickly, and the RAM for the GL62M comes in at only 8 GB. Luckily, the RAM and SSD are both expandable and additional components can be swapped out or added with these. Overall, the MSI GL62M is a decent laptop that sits within the budget. We do recommend it for light to intermediate projects, where quality and accurate display plays a big role. Though, keep in mind that for the same price you can have a 144HZ display with the same color accuracy, plus much more power under the hood with the Legion 5. Coming at number 2. Dell G5. Dell's computers are known for being fast and reliable and are some of the best value products in the top tier price range. The G5 15SE is a more affordable alternative to Alienware computers if you don't want to shell out that much money for a high-performing laptop for video editing. For the price, you get a powerful GPU and CPU pairing that combines a Ryzen processor with Radeon graphics. The Dell G5 15SE fantastic computer for those who want a lot of productivity. Thanks to its Ryzen 5 4600H processor, you can effortlessly run multiple video editing programs at the same time without experiencing interruptions. For those who work with large video productions, a lightning-fast processor can make such a difference during the editing process. The Ryzen 5 4600H outperforms the Intel Core i7-9750H to processor, and even the i5-9300H, to making it a top contender among popular processors for video editing. Now, some people find the 15.6-inch FHD IPS display to be more dull than they'd like, while others find it to have an adequate amount of brightness for their needs. The display is anti-glare, but still doesn't do that well outside in a lot of light, so you should stick to using this laptop indoors for best viewing results. Other features that make this computer a worthy addition to your video editing studio include backlit keys, a durable chassis, and plenty of connections for additional storage devices, displays, and a respectable 7-hour battery life. All in all, the Dell G5 15SE is another great laptop to consider in this price range. It is not as powerful as the Legion 5, but it is notably cheaper. With the money you save on the laptop itself, you can look to purchase additional RAM or memory. However, if you mostly edit 1080p videos, you will find it beyond satisfying for your needs. And number 1. Lenovo Legion 5. Lenovo's gaming laptops are a force to be reckoned with when it comes to video editing on a budget. The Legion 5 offers a combination of power and efficiency to provide a performance that video editors can rely on for heavy projects for years to come. 
An AMD Ryzen 7 4800H processor is at the heart of this computer and runs pretty close to full power, regardless of what you use the Legion 5 for. Of course, this is dependent on your performance settings, but for the most part this laptop runs at a fairly even speed and provides very consistent performance, so you'll get pretty even performance across a variety of video editing programs. The Legion 5's 512GB SSD will provide you with enough speed to import and export videos quickly and ample storage space for various editing programs and storing video files, but if you're working with higher video resolutions, 512GB won't nearly be enough storage for all your files. Luckily, the Legion 5 is equipped with 4 USB 3. 1 ports for external SSDs, plus an HDMI cable for connecting your additional screens to the laptop. Graphics-wise, the NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1660T graphics card is easily the best graphics card you can get at this price point, with a budget laptop. It's a mid-range card as far as performance goes, but it handles games and demanding graphics very well, so video playback or automating animation cues in your editing suite will go smoothly. Overall though, the Legion 5 is no doubt the most powerful laptop for video editing that you can get on a budget at this price point. It doesn't have many flashy features, but if you have a $1000 budget and looking for the most performance to get you projects done quickly and efficiently, you won't find anything better. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.